Mayor Potter, Potter friends, friends, and, and my, my family, family, thank you. This, this is, is a fine honor, honor. Very, very fine. fine. But I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, folks, I can't accept it. No, I'm not the one you're supposed to be seeing up here now. This plaque says, Mr. and Mrs. H.B. Lewis. Now, my wife is the one responsible for the Lewis contribution to the New Wing and Hospital. She's the one. You ought to be applauding up here by me. And here yeah, I am, I'm hogging hoping. all the glory. <laughs> well, while we're waiting, and since I have the floor and I don't want to waste the time or the opportunity, I have a little something to announce. As of today, LTA, the company owned by my sons Billy and Joshua, and my own company, Lewis Oil of Tulsa, are one. Now, there's going to be a new name in town, Lewis Oil of Springfield. Tell, Tell me, me, any of you good folks kidnapped my wife? <laughs> hmm? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? No? Oh. Well, she, well, she must, must be lost, lost out, out there somewhere, somewhere in the, in the crowd. crowd. Well, why, well, why would we? Wait? Well, uh, maybe we should, no. um... No shoulds. No ought tos. Not tonight. So quiet. Such peace. It's been a long time since there's been peace in the Lewis family. Now, Guiding Light. Philip, stop it! Tanya, would you please relax? <laughs> this is wrong! <laughs> well, you sure you pack a hell of a wallop, don't you? You're using me. Oh, Tanya, come on. I'm not Beth. No, I know you're Tanya. I do know the difference. I think we better get back. Oh, come on. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, you're upset. Yes, I am. Well, don't be. Come on. Give me a break. You're a very beautiful girl. Philip. You are. And you're a very smart girl, too, aren't you? Oh, please don't. Tanya. Look, I don't spend my time with just anybody. Philip, I care about you. Oh, good. 
That makes it perfect. No, but I can tell you're not thinking about me. You're wrong. I want you, Tommy. I know that. You're still hung up on Beth. Oh, forget it. Really, Philip, I understand. Look, why... I am not hung up on Beth, okay? Or anybody else. Denial is all part oh of this. Oh, my thing. God. Look, the last thing I need is some first year psych major analyzing everything I do. I'm not! You want a good time, Tanya? Fine, I'm your man. You want to mess with my head? Forget it. I want to help. I don't need any help, Tanya. We all do sometimes. Tanya, just come here. You're trying to get over Beth, and that's good. I know you're doing that. You need to move on to new relationships. No, Tanya, see, that's... I don't need new relationships, okay? I need a woman. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, Tanya? No. Obviously, you don't. Obviously, you're not up for fitting the bill, are you? I don't think you know what you need. You know what you are, Tanya? You are an uptight, middle-class virgin. One kiss and you're out buying furniture. Philip, I didn't Let me tell you that... something, little Miss Prim and Proper. You are missing out on a very good time. For you, the chance of a lifetime. Do you really think that you're going to get a chance to make love with me again? I don't want to. Oh, you. Tanya. You want it very badly. You're just not ready for it. And at the rate you're going, you never will be. Philip, why? Tanya, I think you better go back to Psych 101 and do some reading up on human sexuality. Don't. Or better yet, why don't you stick to boys? Because, sweetheart, you are not ready for a man. Please don't. Oh, I won't, Tanya. Don't worry, I wouldn't do it on a bet. You know, you're fine with theory, but you are a real washout when it comes to practice. Why are you doing this to me? You better stick to those books, sweetheart. Philip! Have you seen my mother around? She took off after the war. Mr. Andrews and Miss Baxter are having a meeting with Senator Ridgway with some of the visiting dignitaries. Oh, no bless oblige. Say what? <laughs> well, <laughs> Lou Jack, that's the, that's the price you pay for wealth and position. There's no such thing as a free lunch. You know? Man, I could have told you that. <laughs> Lou Jack, even at a party, you'll find you have duties and obligations. <laughs> All because you're rich. Well, money gives you power, and power gives you responsibilities. You know about my trust fund? Yes. Your mother told me about Brandon's generous bequest. I have a lot of things I guess I gotta learn, huh? <laughs> Young man, you're learning. I was very impressed with the way you conducted yourself up there on the bandstand. You know my grandfather? Do you know a lot about him? I do. I knew him very well. We'll have to have a talk about him one of these days, soon. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. What's going on here, Are you looking for someone? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am, Dr. Ramsey. Oh, oh, I think I saw, where was it? Oh, by the gazebo. Oh, many thanks, Henry. Oh, no, no, wait, if you see Vanessa, would you please tell her I'm looking for her? I'll do that. Excuse me. Bye. Who scares me? Oh, Mr. Marlowe. Oh, don't worry, he's very nice. I'm starting work tomorrow at Spalding Enterprises in the secretarial pool. I know, that's wonderful. I know. If I mess up, I'll die. <laughs> What? I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow. Anything in particular? Everything. <laughs> Happy days are here again. Huh? <laughs> 
I remember when you used to sing that song every time the Tulsa Tigers won a game. That's right. I'm glad you're going through with your therapy. Yeah. You still want to uh, use your solarium? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's very nice. You did a uh, you did a great job putting it together. Thanks. If there's anything else you you'd like me to change. No. Like where you're sleeping. No, no. You see that right there? What? A little to the left right there, the summer triangle. That's what that is. <laughs> Viga, uh, Deneb, and, um, <laughs> no, I got it. Stay with me. Honestly. I'll tell you. <laughs> what? Old friends are mine. Oh, there are so many stars. Millions of light years away. You take them all for granted. You glad to be back at work? Yeah, I am, as a matter of fact. I, uh, I didn't realize how much I would miss it. The only good vacations are the ones you know are only temporary. That's true. <laughs> maybe we should, uh, maybe we should live our lives like that all the time. Like what? Just, just as if you didn't know how long things were going to last. It's cool up here. It's nice. It's, uh, it's nice to be away from the crowds. Oh, it's been a hot summer. Almost like a Tulsa summer. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hot and dry that the birds absolutely <laughs> refused to come out till after sundown. That's right. <laughs> That's where we spent all that time up across Creek. Everything was was right at Cross Creek. Yeah, it was. Get so hot in the afternoon that it was just right for taking your shirt off. Oh, and, and jumping right jumping in a nice, right cool swim. In a nice, cool <laughs> creek for a swim. And then in the evening, it was cool enough so you could light a fire. It was nice. It was, uh, Creek. I'm glad we had that. I'm glad we had a lot of things. Mr. Brown, what a pleasant surprise. I do hope you're enjoying Founder's Day. Are you interested in history, Mr. Brown? Uh, well, yes, uh, as a matter Good, of fact. because I... that's how we like to think of Founder's Day, as a salute to history. Sure, sure. Yes, you see, it's a return to our past. Right. Echoes of a quieter time. Uh, Mrs. Lewis, I... Although I do suppose there was every bit as much intrigue then as now, don't you think? Oh, uh, really? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, we used to have smugglers on this part of the river. Well, that's very interesting, Mrs. Isn't Lewis. Isn't it? You... And spies. Do you know what? 
We actually hung a Confederate spy right there on the commons. <clears throat> Is that so? That's so. Well, uh, that's that's really very interesting. If you excuse me, I'd like to get back to the uh, festivities. So I should think so, Mr. Brown. Why a handsome man like you dallying up here on the knoll? I don't understand it. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself, dance, have some of our baked. Well, ma'am, I, 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 that's exactly what I intend to do. Good. Don't forget about Henrietta Fowler's peach cobbler. Peach cobbler? Well, that, that, that sounds great. Yes. I pity you had to rush off. Thanks. Hello, Vanessa. We were just trying to get away from everyone for a bit, away from the crowd. HP you know? just received an award from the city. An award? Yes, I think you would like to share it with both of you. Let's go. know how he manages to disappear so completely. Well, he's probably fine. Vanessa, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Yes. Oh, Father's been looking all over for you. Uh, nothing. I just needed some quiet. <clears throat> oh, I understand completely. You do? Well, of course. When you're pregnant, you you need space. Uh, uh, Stacy, why don't you and I go over here and play with the ball? Hmm? <sighs> well, I don't... You know, Vanessa, um... If you have any questions, you can just ask me. You know, this is its such a wonderful time. You and Billy are going to feel so close together because you're sharing a new life. No, it's I... very important, really. The first time that, the first time that you see him holding the baby, <laughs> you're just going to just burst with happiness. Oh, I... God, I can't bear it! Vanessa? Tanya, what are you saying? It was like he wanted to hurt me. Or somebody. Did he hurt you, physically? No, not really. Uh, listen, why don't you wait right here for a few minutes and I'll be right back. No, okay. please. Don't tell Philip I said anything about this. Tanya, I have to. He can't do things like this. Please. I just want to go home. All right, come on. Come on, I'll drive. Come on, you want some mustard for this? I hate mustard. Sorry, here. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to be able to do Hey, Fletch! Too bad, you almost look like a gentleman. That woman is sticking to him like a leech. No, it's the other way around. He's with her by choice? You're gonna stick with her all night till we find out what she's up to. Above and beyond the call of duty. Gina. Gina. Hey. Well, well. <laughs> Gina. You're gonna do great at Spalding Enterprises. Yes, you'll meet lots of nice people. You really like it. I hope they're nice to me. Gina, they will be. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, one of those executive types comes on to you. Oh, pretty boy. Oh, pretty boy. I mean, no, no, I've heard lots of stories about what happens when that's Oh. Not this secretary. <laughs> no? Anyway, I'm gonna be a receptionist, so you've got nothing to worry about. Because I love you. Oh, how can you get mad at that? Come on. Yeah. Anyway, I wouldn't even look at another man. Bullets were falling all around me, just like pigeon droppings in New York City. Oh, thank you. Hello, Dr. Rath. Well, I hope you're not going to faint again. You know, I really wouldn't have had this happen for anything in the world. Really? Mm. You must admit, Fletcher, it is a little awkward. No, not at all. Claire understands. Claire understands what? What are you doing, Fletcher? You're going to have to get used to seeing me with other women. I am. 
Yes, under the circumstances. Well, now, if you two are going to have a scene, don't you think we should have it someplace else? We're supposed to be getting married. No. But I know. You told me that. Yes, exactly, exactly. I told you, Susan. I did not tell Claire. Oh, I didn't tell see. Claire what, Fletcher? Our engagement is off. Oh, it is. You, you low-down, skirt-chasing swine, you. Oh, and I suppose you're a saint. I did not cheat on you, ever. <laughs> you would have if you didn't have the chance. Don't you think we should continue this discussion someplace You else? know, your morals are about as lousy as your journalism. Oh, if we're talking about morals, Doctor. Is she the first? The first what? How long have you been having an affair with this I woman? I really think I'd better meet you someplace uh, else. Susan is Let's twice the woman kid. that you are. In bed, Fletcher? You can straighten this out. You better, you better straighten, straighten this out, Fletcher, because this is the last time I'm ever going to let you do this to I me, ever. I'd like to see Please be patient. I can take care of it. You slut. Well, now, that really does it. If you two want to stand here and demean yourself in public, that's fine with me, but make the decision. I'll wait for you someplace else. Um, listen, I'm sorry. Fletcher Reed! You can't do this to me! We are through! Do you hear? H.B. And, and Reva got married. Billy's been like a man obsessed. Oh, my poor child. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about me, and he doesn't care about the baby, and he doesn't care about Mindy. Is there anything I can do, dear? No. There's nothing that anybody but Billy can do. And all he cares about is revenge on Reva. seems to thrive on complications. Would you tell me about her, everything? I, I really don't know very much about her, but I am sure that she's dangerous, and I know that she's trying to drive Tony and me out of our cottage. That's what we're trying to find out. And Fletcher, what, what does he have to do? Well, Fletcher is trying to dig up information on her to see if he can figure out why she's driving us out of our cottage. That's it? That's all he's doing? Well... I acted like a shrew in public so he can get some dirt. I pulled a muscle in my neck crawling underneath the desk so he can get a story. Well, Claire, it might help save our house. I'm sorry, Annabelle. I don't mean to make light of your problems. I know. I am just tired of being used. This guy is using me. Look, I wish you all the luck with your house. I really do. And I hope that Fletcher Reed can help you. But I am just sorry he's going to have to leave me out of his plans because enough is enough. Fletch, over here. Okay, listen, uh, I left Piper talking high-stakes real estate with the Lewises. I don't dare leave her for long. It's all right. I just want to make sure we got things straight. Yeah, right. Okay. I made sure that Piper saw you and Annabelle. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> and Jim, too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, so she knows the house is empty. Yeah, yeah perfect nice. opportunity for that henchman of hers to make another visit. Let's hope Mr. Yakamura decides to vandalize the place again. But I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll be with Piper. Be yeah, listen, don't let her out of your sight, okay? Please. Oh, but promise, I won't, okay? Listen, I will bring her back here to the bridge in about a half an hour, all right? Okay. Oh, come here. What? <laughs> you can see the house if you stand right about here, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, listen, when I catch Yakamura, I'm gonna flick the lights on and off twice. 
Okay. Okay. You trap Yakamura. Right. I bring Piper over to the cottage. Right. We confront her with Yakamura. Right. And we tell her the game's up. Right. She quits has on us, and we're going to see her in court. Oh, brilliant strategy. I just hope it works. Yeah. Okay. All Let's right. do it. Okay. Go. Good luck. See you. Hey there. Well, hey yourself. Why aren't you out here on this beautiful moonlit night with your wife, huh? Ah. Uh, I got some business to attend to. <laughs> My shoes are killing me. <laughs> Listen, uh, keep an eye on Annabelle for me, will you? Thanks. What? Sure thing. Well, something's going on. Like what? I don't know. My brother gets that determined walk, leading with his chin. Something's going on, believe me. That full moon. Ah, oh, the air is so soft and the music so pretty. Kind of romantic, huh? Yeah. Something I haven't been lately. That's all right. I don't mind. You want to marry me? I said, do you want to get married? Married? Yeah, you know, I do. Till death do us part. I now pronounce you man and wife, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, Jim. What? Does that mean no? You don't have to marry me. No, I don't. I know you love me. Very much. A license isn't going to make you love me anymore. Or any less. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. Now, what are you getting at? Honey, it's just... somebody like you. A license and vows. I'm afraid that might be too much like... rules and regulations. Aha. Uh -huh. Made to be broken, is that it? Maybe. Look, I'm with you because I want to be with you. And that's the way I want things to stay. I don't know. Maybe sometime you're going to want something else. Well, we'll know. <laughs> Boy, our lives sure are complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Two careers. Outside interests. Some we share, some we don't, huh? You know, sometime we might just have to go our separate ways. Can you live with that? As long as we find our way back. And as long as we're honest. I love you, lady. You know, life... Life is so good with you. That makes me very glad. Oh, you know... People can louse up their lives in so many ways, you know, by getting jealous, by uh, making unreasonable <laughs> demands on each other. Well, I'm glad I don't do that. <laughs> no, we give each other room to breathe. Yeah, I think we do. Hey, how did I get so lucky? <laughs> huh? 
I don't know. <laughs> Jim, there is one other thing. Uh oh, famous last words, huh? I was thinking that maybe someday you and I would like to start a family. A family? Well, that's not something that, you know, hey, you have to hey, think about. Time out. When that day comes and you notice I said when, not if, you can have the vows, you can have the certificate. And you can have that rose-covered cottage. Jimmy, I love you so much. <laughs> Father, have you seen Jonathan? Not recently, no. Mm, I was hoping he would meet some boys of his own age. Well, the last time I saw him, he was having a serious discussion with a man from the Hall of Records. Very typical. Yeah. Very typical. Come here, sweetie. Oh, well, look who's coming. Hello. Oh, well, newest benefactor. Hi, how are you doing, Henry? Very well, John. Oh, uh, may I congratulate you on your award? Uh oh, Henry, I'm sure your family's contributed a lot more to this community than we have. Well, I've had my share of citations, I must admit. I, uh, yeah. I didn't get a chance to see you all evening, so I thought I'd at least drop by and say good night. Well, good night. <laughs> oh, it's too early. It's such a short evening already. That case cannot be made for these old boys. Oh. Actually, I'm the one who's tired. They're just taking me home. Oh, Josh, I'm glad to see you out and about. Thank you. I hope I'll hear that you've been fully recovered very soon. That'll happen. Mm, I'm sure it will. So, it is Lewis Oil of Springfield now, huh? That's right, Henry and Spalding Enterprises better watch their step. <laughs> well, before you get too cutthroat, just remember the Lewis's and the Chamberlain's are working on a joint venture, uh, thanks true. to our two children, no? True, true. I have not seen nearly enough of that door of yours. I've got to remedy that. Good. She can do with some support and encouragement right now. I haven't uh, spent half enough time praising that baby. Well, I think it's never too early to start acting like a grandfather. Henry, <laughs> Henry yeah. what do you say you and me throw a real wing dig for that future grandson of ours? Right. Good idea. Well, good night, Hen. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Just one dance. Forget it. Oh, the music's great. What are you talking about? The music is corny. So what? That don't matter. Look, I can't get down in this dumb costume anyway. We'll dance slow. <laughs> Can you see us with you wearing that getup? Gina, I'd be dancing all over your skirt. Watch it, pretty boy. She's gonna cry. Wow, is everybody enjoying themselves, having a good time? Ah, oh, come on now. We're forgetting about the past, remember? Letting bygones be bygones? I'd like that. Yeah. Well, like I said before, it's okay with me. Good. Hell, I never had a cousin before. I think you'll like it. Pretty boy, isn't it? And I'm sure that we've never been introduced before. I'm Gina. The Galahads, Gina? Yeah. I did not recognize you. <laughs> it's the outfit. Yeah, you look gorgeous. Turn around. I can't no. believe it. Hold your man. She's gonna fall for any dumb line that one of those executives over Spalding Enterprises hands her. Did you say Spalding Enterprises? Yeah. Gina's starting work there tomorrow. In the secretarial pool. That's great. Yeah. All the gal has to have jobs. Thanks to Luja. Well, cousin, you are a true humanitarian. How'd you manage to pull that off? Well, they're my friends. Mm. Obviously, yeah. That's great. You start work tomorrow? Are you want to get some ice cream? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, Excuse us, Ross, Philip, Gina, yeah. pretty boy. See you later. Aren't you at all concerned about what happened to Tan? She's around here somewhere. No, she's not. Would you excuse us, please? Thank you very much. Do you mind? Yes, I do mind. I have a few things to say to you. Philip, what were you trying to do? Ross, why are you being so serious? I just drove Tanya home, and she was in tears. Oh, I could have driven her home. All she had to do was ask me. She didn't want anything to do with you. That bad, huh? 
And the old charm must be slipping. Philip, don't joke about this. Ross, I'm a big boy now. I know, and that's what makes it worse. Ross, would you let me run my own love life, please? What you did to Tanya has absolutely nothing to do with love. That's not my fault. She was the one that was playing games. I wonder who was playing the games. Fine, then you wonder. Philip, you hurt that girl very badly. Was she really that upset? She was very upset. I wasn't trying to hurt her, Ross. Oh, Philip, come on, would you? You've never been in that position before? Come on, you know how girls are. She just misinterpreted my intentions, that's all. All right, you give me your version of what happened. She was looking for some kind of a commitment from me, and all I was interested in was in a good time. Mm -hmm. At her expense. All right, you made your point. I'll give her a call tomorrow. You do that. I will. And next time, be a little more civilized, will you? I hear you're doing your part to, civil to, uh, to rehabilitate the Galahads. You mean Gina? Yeah. Yes, uh, Gina starts training tomorrow in the secretarial pool, and I'm hoping I haven't made a mistake. No! I'll tell you what, though, if you want, I'll come by and offer her some words of encouragement. All right, no, <laughs> not a very good idea. Why? You want her to feel welcome? Look, Philip, she's not very sophisticated. She might misinterpret your intentions, much like Tanya did. Uh, uh. I'm not going to lead one of your employees astray, Ross. Have no fear. Thank you, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Listen, how about lunch sometime next week? That sounds good. Why don't you give me a call when you have some free time? I will. Don't stay out too late. <laughs> May I have the honor of this dance? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Sure. My pleasure. Vanessa doing here? I don't think it was to give me a history lesson about Founders Day. She blew my cover, Billy. They all know what's going oh, on. Damn. No, well, just uh, just hang in there, Hudson. Look, don't worry about this. Look, all right? Reva is bound to give you something sooner or later. And I promise you, I'll get you what you're after. What is that, Mr. Brown? Darling. Well, uh, Mrs. Lewis, if, if you'll both excuse me, I've got some peach cobbler waiting for me. <laughs> Darling, alone together. Who is that last. man? What have you hired him to do? Oh, he's just in a business associate. Nothing for you to worry your pretty little head about. How's my lady I'm boy? tired of this, Billy. Well, if you're tired, darling, let's go. Come I'm on. not tired of the party. I'm tired of being kept in the dark. Oh, now, you don't want to know every little bit of information about every little deal. Do I want to know what's going on. What's going on? Yes. Well, you mean about the merger? Yes, about the merger. Oh. And yes, about family politics and anything that has to do with my baby. Your and me. Our baby. That's right. Our baby. Well, darling, now I think you're talking about something important. Our baby. I'm That's not... Me. I'm not just a broodmare, damn you! I'm your wife, and I'm a part of your family. Of course you are, darling. Well, don't you take it for granted. If you don't start telling me what's going on, I'm going to leave you, Billy. I swear I will. I don't think I, I really like the way you're saying what you're saying, darling. I repeat, if you don't let me know what's going on, I'm going home right now and I'm going to pack my bags. Fletcher. Yes, sir. Just what the hell are you doing? Doing? Why, that should be obvious. No, I mean, what were you looking at? Is there something out there? No, Susan, nothing. Well, you certainly aren't concentrating on me. Well, let's try again. You were miles away. Not miles, no. Oh, dear heaven, she's back again. Oh, look, it's my favorite muffin. <laughs> Hi. 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 Tony. Not for about an hour. You know, I can't find him anywhere.
was beginning to think you weren't going to make it, Mr. Yakamura. Too bad the party's over. This has been Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest and Barney's. Jewelry by Stephen Dweck.